Ahí perdí mi único niño que tenía también. Tenía un niño de, de año y medio. Se llamaba el operativo Tierra Arrasada. Llegaron al helicóptero, a ametrallar y a tirar y más la balacera de los soldados. Al llegar al río Funpul, mucha gente, sin poder nadar, se lanza al río. El río los arrastró y se ahogaron. Eso nunca se olvida, pero este, ir, ir como sanando un poquito, poco a poco. dress your child and get ready to walk out the door to take your child to school and you don't know whether or not you'll see your child in the afternoon because the military has been roaming through towns recruiting forcibly all children that are older than 10 years. These become day-to-day -day activities that people get up in the morning and they organize their lives around the fact that that's the, world, the way the world functions. Psychosocial problems of the victims cannot be solved at the individual level. They need to be addressed both at the psychic and at the social level, at the individual and at the collective level. Ignacio talked a lot about that war marks each of us as individuals and it marks us in particular ways. He spoke about what it was like to be a psychologist to be a Jesuit priest in the midst of what he called a limit situation, uh, a situation of intense violence and fear and threat. The war, instead of, you know, going down, escalated and was different. So they promised us peace and we received war, more war. El Salvador, 1989. More than 800 people killed since Saturday. Among them, six Jesuit priests dragged from their beds, tortured and murdered overnight. I remember driving to my office thinking, this can't possibly be. Gradually, the information became more specific and we learned of the people who were killed. In the midst of the emotional upset, people began to talk about what can we do there was a strong sense in his work that there was deep within human beings a potential and a press for creating a new person and creating a new society. We thought in the spirit of his own sense of the future and possibility to create a group that could provide financial support to organizations whose work we thought was in the spirit of his own efforts in Salvador. The particular version of community-based mental health intervention that the Martin Barreau Fund supports is one that brings, in addition to a collective and a communitarian approach, also brings a political analysis to why communities have been fractured and fragmented during war. El susto no se nos ha quitado totalmente, pero sí nos está, el programa de salud mental nos ha apoyado con conocer nuestros valores. Muchas costumbres, muchos valores se perdieron por la guerra. We learned that the trauma and the pain is not the aberration simply of the individual or the experience of the individual. It has to do with 
the nature of the community and the relationships within the community. Los soldados entraban en las casas a robar. Y las mujeres que están en la casa, el ejército entraba y abusaban de ellas sexualmente. Ya no teníamos esa tranquilidad porque eh, cuando entraban en las casas, nosotros salíamos. Salíamos a, a, esc a escondernos entre los montes para que no nos encuentren. It's very important to at least have the opportunity to share those experiences with other people who live through similar conflict. Dialogue at least creates the opportunity especially when your experiences are shared experiences, to construct new meanings that transform how you think about yourself and how you think about the trauma that you've experienced. Las mujeres que se quedaron viudas, las jóvenes que están, que crecieron huérfanos, entonces eh, yo quiero compartir con ellos porque siento, siento el mismo, el mismo sufrimiento. Me gusta también ver ya a las mujeres con quienes he trabajado, me gusta ver a ellas ya, ya con cambios. Children in the Philippines today, particularly children growing up in, in rural farming areas, are caught in a number of insurgencies and counterinsurgencies. One of them involves a centuries old struggle going on in the Philippines for Muslim independence in the southern regions, particularly in Mindanao. There is also globalization. Probably uh, several hundred thousand uh, families have been displaced in the last two or three years as a consequence of the construction of these giant mining operations and logging operations. In a very broad sweep, these are some of the things that kids are exposed to living in the Philippines. <laughs> The Children's Rehabilitation Center over time evolved a particular practice that they feel serves the interests of kids who are, are victims of state-sponsored violence. Their work occurs at many different levels. They go to where the conflict zones are to do an assessment of the human rights violations. They will find particularly children who have um, been victims of the current violence. And they will work with them individually, but often through the arts, often through play, to help kids begin to recognize that beneath the sort of mask-like faces and rigid bodies are a wealth of emotions that these kids have not been able to express. And they participate in the 
creation of theater productions that are used to bring the experiences of CRC kids to the wider public. And they will share their experiences publicly, they will testify before human rights commissions to try to bring to the attention of the Filipino public that, um, that these things are still going on and they need to be addressed. It gives kids a way to be actors, to be members of their society where they've taken their new learning about their own experiences and they have found a way as a group to take at least a small stand on behalf of, again, what Ignacio had always said, building the possibility of a new future. Ya hace 20 años que mi hermano murió aquí en este lugar. Fue el 12 de mayo del, del 88. Y aquí estamos pues conmemorando esa, esa muerte de él y que su muerte no ha sido en vano pues. Presente. Agustín Rivera. Presente. Ignacio Otero. Presente. Felicito Rivera. Presente. En El Salvador, en the project that the Martin Baro Fund is supporting, one of the major activities in that project is exhumation processes. Nosotros quisiéramos sacarlo de allí, ponerlo en un lugar digno, pues. The emotional and the psychological processes of recovering the body of a loved one has deep significance for all of us personally at a psychosocial and spiritual level, but also has deep significance at a cultural level where the beliefs often are that the body is wandering until it is brought to rest in a cemetery with other family members. The process también para ser más sanador. <laughs> tiene que involucrar a la comunidad porque son traumas también colectivos. Monseñor Romero, presente. Es una petición expresa de justicia también, ¿no? eh, de buscar responsables, de que el Estado por lo menos reconozca, que también pida perdón a las víctimas porque es algo que acá no se hace, no se reconoce nunca que, que han pasado estas cosas, se niega totalmente. Y entonces también estás negando a las personas, ¿no? Estás negando su dignidad. Martín Baró apuntaba muy bien a esto, ¿no? Que la construcción en realidad, o reconstrucción del tejido social también, partiendo del trabajo comunitario. It's really a misunderstanding to assume that when war ends, all of its social and psychological consequences also end. We have made an effort, I think, by keeping the Martin Burrow Fund alive to sort of constantly remind people that an individual who doesn't have an amputated arm or an amputated leg and who appears to be functioning in a relatively healthy and normal fashion but has lived through the kinds of conditions that occur throughout Central America, are not necessarily people who do not have damage and who do not need support in recovery.